Hello, everyone. Today I will tell you an episode of the series American Horror Stories called Ball. Enjoy watching. A married couple is sitting at a doctor's appointment, and there they find out that they cannot have a child even with the help of IVF, and their only option is to adopt a child or surrogate motherhood. But the girl says that she wants to experience pregnancy herself, and that she is not considering other options. Liv talks to the clinic administrator and says that she wants to make an appointment with the doctor again in two months, to which Bernadette, that's the administrator's name, tells her that she has been following their story for two years and that she is very sorry for them. At that moment, she takes out a fertility totem from under the table and gives it to Liv. She assures the girl that if she puts him under the bed during intercourse, she will get pregnant. The desperate girl agrees to the gift. Liv does everything as Bernadette told her. The ritual has begun. It's been 16 months. Liv is babysitting her newborn baby, and her husband is constantly missing from work. Liv feels terrible because she doesn't know how to treat a child. She even feels like she's not his mom. At night, the girl notices the manifestation of supernatural forces at home when she takes out a totem from under the bed, which she had completely forgotten about. She puts it in a box and closes the door to the dressing room. Matt suddenly appears, who has returned from filming the film for a few hours to check on Liv's condition. The girl tells him about her experiences, to which he advises her to visit a specialist in hormonal and postpartum disorders, suggesting that Liv probably had postpartum depression. The girl goes to bed and notices from the screen how some scary creature is pulling its hands towards her child. She runs into the room to check if everything is okay. There she hears sounds coming from the closet, she checks it, but no one is there because this creature is standing behind her. In the morning, she goes to a specialist and tells about what she saw, as well as about her premonition that her child hates her and that there is something wrong with him. But the woman calms Liv down and advises her to hire a night nanny for a while to help her. After the water treatments, Liv puts the baby to bed. But a little later, the child cries again and when she comes to calm him down, she finds a totem in his crib, which has changed very much. The frightened girl checks the past totem, but she does not find it. The girl begins to blame her housekeeper for this, but as soon as she saw the totem, she only began to cross herself in panic and then ran out of the house saying that she was quitting. Liv hears strange noises again, but this time they come from the basement of the house. Going downstairs, she finds large scratches on the wall and a pipe torn by the same claws, which at one point collapses and injures the girl. She tells her husband about everything, who in turn finds a logical explanation for everything. And then he reports that he got a good role, but he will have to work every night. Liv supports him. Night fell. The girl is trying to find information about the god of fertility. This is how she learns about the demon ball, who is also called the Lord of the Flies and the Harbinger of the Plague. Noticing him in the children's room again, she hurries there. After leaving the room, she hears strange noises. In the morning, the woman tries to make out the words and she succeeds, there you can hear the phrase, I need him. This scares her even more, but her husband does not believe in everything that is happening. He invites a specialist to the home Liv goes to to talk to her. She tries to explain to her that it's all because of elevated hormones and stress. Liv and Matt are having dinner with their friends. One of the guys finds a Ouija board in the house and everyone agrees to try to talk to the spirits. After a couple of jokes, they are contacted by a spirit who tells them, he is my son. Then Liv starts to panic even more. Her husband can't stand it and starts yelling at the girl, saying that he is already tired of all this and that he is tired. The next day, a desperate girl meets Bernadette and tells her that this is not the totem of the god of nobility at all, but the demon ball. As it turned out, the receptionist girl got it all mixed up. They are trying to find in ancient books a ritual for his expulsion, and they succeed. To perform this ritual, she gives Liv an ancient blade. Night has fallen and the girl is doing everything that is said in the instructions. But her husband appears at the wrong time and the girl mistakenly plunges the blade into his chest. Two weeks have passed. Matt visits his wife in a psychiatric clinic. She apologizes to him for her actions. The guy replies that everything is in the past and he understands that she did not want to hurt him. Matt leaves and goes to the car. Bernadette is already waiting for him there. They're kissing. The guy says that she can now throw all the occult things out of the apartment. She no longer needs them. 
After all, now, with the help of lawyers, he can declare Liv insane and take all her money. At home, Matt, Bernadette, and his friends celebrate their victory over Liv. As it turned out, they set it up and drove her crazy. One of her friends was doing special effects. He made scratches in the basement, faked the sounds of ball. The other guy was putting on a demon costume. The girl carved three different totems and made an artificial mist. Meanwhile, Matt swapped Liv's antidepressants for psychotropic substances. And as for the child, the guy is going to send him to boarding school, since he never wanted him and did everything possible so that Liv could not get pregnant. While Matt is changing the baby's diapers, the guys are having fun, but at one point problems with the light begin and fog appears. They are scared and don't understand how this is possible. It was the real demon ball who came. He brutally kills them one by one, turning their guts out, pulling the spine out of the body and twisting their necks. Only Matt was still alive. He was imprisoned for the murder of his friends. Liv visits him. She says that he acted meanly towards her, that he only wanted her money. Matt tells her that the demon ball is real and that he killed everyone and framed the guy for some unknown reason. He asks Liv for money for a lawyer. But the girl does not believe him and says that she is not going to help. She's leaving. In the evening, the girl puts the child to bed. Then Ball appears and says that he killed everyone and asks Liv to set him free. As it turned out, Bernadette unknowingly gave Liv a real spell, but not for exorcising a demon, but a summoning one. In a psychiatric clinic, the girl did not waste time in vain and performed this ritual. The demon asks Liv to let him go, she agreed, but only on one condition. He must give her another child. 